Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, this is to do with a compass error I've been suffering with for a little while on my Phantom 3 Professional. Sometimes I couldn't even take off with it. Other times I was getting compass errors halfway through my flight when I was 500 meters away and you know what sort of fear that puts into you when you see messages like that. Um, so anyway, I bought myself a new compass for the Phantom. It was $25. I'll put a link in the description. Um, it's part number 11 if anybody else is wanting to buy it. You can get them on eBay, then no problem. Anyway, this is uh, just a short video about uh, how I went about replacing it. Thanks guys. Okay, some of the tools you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need a T5 and a T8. Um, they're like Torx bits. Some paddle pop sticks, I'll show you what they're for in a Stanley knife or whatever you want to call it uh, for removing the stickers. And I've got a pair of pliers here but I'm just going to use the rubber end as a um, pushing implement. A little one here, T5, T8, T8 and a T8 there. So that's on all four legs. So first thing you need to do is remove them. May I also add that I'm not a professional or anything like that at this. I'm just the average Joe Blow doing it on the cheap rather than having to pay some extortionate fee by DJI or camera shop. Sorry, camera shops, but there you go. And the idea of the paddle pop stick is just to part the case in a little bit and put it in there just to keep a bit of pressure on it. Now, roughly wherever that clip is, you can push on the bottom case. And it should clip off. It's like so. Can you hear that? Just take your time. There's no rush at this point. Whatever you do, do not get the screwdriver in there because that will just damage the case. Doesn't matter if it takes you 10 minutes, just go around slowly. You, once you've popped a couple, you'll get the hang of it. There he goes. All this now. So I lift it off gently, and there'll be a wire here. This is the GPS in there. You just pull that one out. Two little tiny screws. It was glued in, I just priced it out the glue. There's a little rubber grommet there. Unclip it, pull it through. And then it's basically the reversal of what we've done. Right, this clip here, um, you think you've got to put the wire in and then push the plastic thing in after it, well you don't, you've got to have the wire on the side of it, it's like a little step on the side of it, so uh, make sure it's on the side of it when you put it back in. Try and give yourself enough wire to uh, bend that thing over at the top and put it in. I didn't bother re-gluing it, it was quite snug in there, it wasn't going to move, so I just put it back in there. self-explanatory when you see it yourself if you have to do this. Wires are in the middle of this. I don't know if you can see that. Middle of the grommet. Don't forget, plug your GPS back in. Squeezing it 
back together. Same again, just take your time, go around it slowly. You can see when it goes back in. Reinsert all screws. The main problem here people have is over tightening the screws. Do not over tighten them, otherwise you'll end up with these frame cracks. Stickers, long one, short one, long one, short one. Longer one on the inside of the drum. Stick it on one end and follow it around with your thumb. Go and plug her in and give her a whirl. Okay. Yes, I know I should clean my screen. <laughs> Back in business, boy. Well, she's sitting there all right. I know that's nothing to do with the compass, but... All right, let's take her up above the trees and... Yeah, I'll speed this piece up. I'm gonna bore you with it, but I was just up there doing a couple of little tests, looking at the compass and... Yeah, everything was working fine, no problems. And the bit of video right on the front of this um, how-to, that was filmed after um, this had been done. So uh, yeah, everything's back working 100%. Awesome. It's me down under. Thanks for watching, guys.